what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Supermodel Cindy Crawford's 20-year-old son, Presley Gerber, has been quarantining at his parents' luxury Malibu home. Presley is quite a unique character. The privileged loner debuted the tattoos while playing basketball shirtless on Thursday. Now, why would I care about anything like this? Because there is a lesson to be learned. This dude has a tattoo that says 310 scrolled across his chest. He has another of a gun affixed to his left hip. Both tattoos are favorites among LA gangs. Why would a kid who comes from a life of privilege born with a silver spoon in his mouth, an ex-model. His mama is a model. His daddy, who is a businessman, is a former model. His sister is a model. The whole damn family is a model. But they're anything but a model family. <laughs> Why? Why would a guy who comes from that type of background I want to be a gangster. He's crying out for help. He's trying to get some attention. No matter what it is, negative or positive, it doesn't matter. He wants some attention. Sources say that he's trying to get from under his family's name. He wants to carve out his own identity. Wrong way to do that. He's going to mess around and get his head knocked off. Because these streets are for real. I don't understand the people today who have a life of privilege but want to be in the streets, want to be a gang member, want all of that drama that's associated with being in gangs, being in the streets. The streets have no rules. There used to be some rules, but today, not so much. No honor whatsoever. No respect. He gonna mess around and get himself killed if he don't catch a snap real soon. Tell you a quick story. My cousin was born in a middle income home. His mother was a school teacher. His daddy was a lawyer. They did well for themselves financially. He had everything that he needed and a lot of what he wanted. That wasn't enough because he wanted to be in the streets. He enjoyed the thrill of the chase. So one day, he went out robbing with another childhood friend of mine. And a cop shot him in the face after he stole a car. He stole the car, took off running. Cop shot him in the face. Almost killed him. Not even after that did he catch a snap. There was a few more incidents and he did a couple of prison stints and he finally came back to reality. And he started using all of those life lessons that his mom and dad had taught him. He was one of those rare kids who bucked and went outside of the line. You know, like we're all creatures of habit. We're products of our environment. If we are learned a certain way, more than likely, that's the way we're gonna be. 
but there's always exceptions to the rule and he was an exception to the rule. Family, young people, listen to me. The streets don't love you. I know it might be fun to be out there breaking rules and, and get around a couple guys, make you feel tough because they got your back and they'll take up for you and all that stuff. But there's a lot of drama that comes with that. You don't want to be indebted to somebody that helped you in a squabble. And then next thing you know, you carrying a package for them or you trying to help them out of obligation and get your head knocked off because you really ain't built like that. It ain't worth it. Man, if I had that life, if I had the life that dude got growing up, 20 years old, chilling in Malibu, mama a supermodel, daddy a big time businessman. They, the daddy owned restaurants and clubs and all kinds of stuff. Paid, papered up. Not a care in the world. And he wants to get some attention, so he tats gangster stuff on his body and, and do a lot of things that's associated with being in the streets and being a gangster. And that's really not him. Even Presley knows he's not built like that, but he enjoys the attention. Let me tell y'all something. We all got something that we can do just as good or better than anybody in the world and make a living doing it. And it's something that's positive, something that you're not going to have to watch your back and peeping all around the corners and all of that stuff, worried about your enemies and the police getting at you. You can do it and you can do it with honor, but you're going to have to identify that thing and put the work in, apply yourself. It's not gonna be easy in most cases. I have a correction to make. Earlier I said that Presley was unique. I'm taking it back. There's nothing unique about him other than his people having money. He is a run of the mill follower. I'm sure dude has something he can do that would garner him positive attention. But he don't want to do it because perhaps it requires a good work ethic, consistency, discipline, sacrifice. He want to take the shortcut. Ain't nothing wrong with taking the shortcut. But the shortcut ain't necessarily what you think it is. The shortcut is in the work. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?